man, it's almost time here in North Carolina. It is mid-March and we are so excited to get after these turkeys. What you're about to see is a hunt from 2019. Actually, May the 4th, 2019, Star Wars Day. One of my favorite hunts I've had. Absolutely gorgeous scenery up there on that hill. I'm blessed to still get to hunt there. So I'm excited to get back out there this spring. Drop us a comment below and let us know where you're gonna be here turkey hunting and when your season opens. We surely can't wait and can't wait to bring you along with us as soon as it opens here on April the 9th. Hope you enjoy the video. Well, it's Star Wars Day, they tell me. <laughs> May the 4th. Um, came back up here to where I took that bird earlier in the year. Reason being, it, it rained most of the evening yesterday. Rained all night. And they're calling for rain here in, a few, in an hour or so. It's real foggy. So, turkeys always. In my experience, they always go to the fields in the rain. They love being in a field in the rain. So I came set up on this knoll where all those birds went to that morning. I killed that bird. Um, obviously, that bird came down to me, but the majority of the birds seemed like they were up here. So I finally got the weather to come up here. It's been too windy to be on any kind of knoll. But uh, it's the second to last Saturday of the season. It's getting sort of late, so... Hopefully something with a beard will come in here and check out the decoys. I haven't heard anything so far this morning, which is really surprising. Because it feels like it should be a decent goblin morning, but I haven't heard anything. So we'll just sit tight. Maybe one will wander over here in a little bit. Never know. It was a beautiful May morning. With the sights and sounds I had already experienced, a bird at this point would just be a plus. I was already where the turkeys wanted to be anyway, so I decided I would just sit tight until lunchtime. I found over the years that being in the right spot magically makes you a really good caller.
I figured out what happened with that gobbler this morning. I, my decoy, um, the hen, was kind of messed up the way her, she was turned around, but that wasn't the problem. When the bird finally, he stayed in here for like an hour, at like 40 yards, 30 yards maybe. I mean, he was just about, just about to where you thought maybe he might, you know, break at any second. Um, but I couldn't figure out when he first come up, he come out of the tree, something spooked him. He just immediately threw his head up and putted a couple times and then went back to normal and then putted. And when I called, he gobbled, but he, he wouldn't come close. And then in a little bit, a hen came up, which I think I filmed. She came, went straight to him. But when she caught popped up, she also got real nervous and putted. And I'm like, what the heck? So I slipped out of the blind just a second ago to fix my hen. And the other day when it was so windy, I had to tie the blind off to a pine tree. And it was inside the Christmas tree, so it didn't matter. And the only, one, the only thing I had was orange rope. And I thought I got all of it off this morning, but when I walked back to get, or when I slipped out to get that decoy, there's a blaze orange rope hanging off the blind. God, that has to be what it was. There's no other reason for them to do that. But you live and you learn, I guess. We, uh, that's the only bird I've been around. That Tom and that hen's the only birds that I've heard or seen this morning. But this is where they always go. Every bird I've seen at this farm has ended up on this knoll. They've came through here, done something with it. So I'm just going to sit it out till 10 or 11. It's about 8.15 right now. We'll sit it out till 10 or 11 and see if another one fires up somewhere but I won't have an orange rope on the blind this time <laughs> gosh well maybe the patience might pay off here in a minute that hen and that tom made a big circle down around the hill and then back up I just see the hen <clears throat> the hen's at about 80 yards down the hill feeding up this way He's right behind her. So maybe he'll eventually get tired of this Jake and come here and check him out. It, I can't get any footage of him because it's in and out of uh, Christmas trees. But just keep being patient see what happens. I'm a firm believer in good decoys, and this hen's infatuation with mine really is what kept me in the game. You can see the bird in the top of the screen. He would strut back and forth, but he really didn't have all that much interest in getting much closer. After watching the bird for what seemed like an eternity at under 15 yards to the left side of the blind, I got brave and decided to drop a window when his head went behind the Christmas tree. I got lucky, and he was so focused on that hen, he didn't notice.
is down right there. Oh my gosh. morning this morning on uh, Star Wars Day May the 4th here in North Carolina shot a 40 my the same 40 pound um, Omega native 58 inch the Cedar Arrow uh, this bow has been doing really well for me taking a bird the day before my birthday was awesome but that's not what keeps me climbing ridges every spring it's all of it the sights the smells the experience that's what I really remember But yeah, a bird's a nice bonus. If you like what you see, go down and hit that subscribe button and maybe the bell icon. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook at The Stick Boys.